What is up guys, me luck here, and today we are back in action playing some Subnautica. So, Subnautica is an underwater survival simulation uh, released a while ago. It's actually in early access right now. I did some videos on it before. Uh, I think we did like maybe 8 to 10 videos. We did like a little mini-series. Uh, unfortunately, at the time, there wasn't a lot to do, but since then, it's been almost a year, I think. Uh, they've added a lot of content, including farming, uh, you can do a lot more building, you can have docks, and you can have big ships and small ships, and all kinds of crazy stuff. So we're going to start a new series, guys. If you enjoy it, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it, and it helped me out tremendously. And I don't, I just don't say that. It actually likes help, help any YouTuber out. If you enjoy their content, make sure to click the like button, uh, and uh, that would be freaking amazing. So, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, so we start off in this little pod. Uh, we've crash landed on this planet. This is an underwater planet, and uh, you guys are about to see everything. So we're gonna go ahead and exit the pod. <clears throat> and uh, we are underwater. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. You can press F6 to actually get rid of your your HUD. It kind It's kind of annoying, it bothers me. I feel like uh, you can press F6, but I feel like it probably should be in options for, uh, in options, uh, for people that don't know how to do that. Uh, but yeah, we're underwater. They've actually done a new, I guess, graphic overhaul update to the game. So it's like a lot better graphics. The game looked beautiful before. It looked absolutely amazing before. Uh, but it looks even better now. They have like, I don't know, the water looks like more clean and um, like the waves and stuff look more not dynamic. And everything looks really sweet. One thing I like about this game is you can see like the water reflections from up there. The light shine through, you can see it kind of like on the ground right here, which I think is a really neat effect. It's really, really cool. Also, the water is beautiful. This is like Hawaii or something. I want to live on this planet. Like if I was like a merman or something, this is the planet that I would want to live on. So there's different types of modes in this game. There's survival, which is what we're playing right now. Um, there's freedom, which... So the difference between survival and freedom is uh, freedom doesn't have any food or Emergency. water requirements. Ten survival... Oh, 10 remaining. seconds of oxygen. Uh, survival, you have to worry about food and water. It's not that big of a deal. Like, I mean, we do have to eat, like, you know, uh, quite often. But um, it's not like, yeah, I'm going to be eating, like, every five seconds or whatever. It's not really that crazy. So the way we eat and the way we uh, gather resources is you'll find all kinds of stuff on the ground. Uh, we can go ahead and pick up this metal right here. Also, we can grab some fish. The fish is good for eating. Let me, let me, hey, come here. I think this is a peeper or something. I'm not sure exactly. Hey, bro, I need you. I need to catch you, man. Oh, oh, there we go. So I've caught him. Uh, and then we can catch other fish as well, like this guy right here. Hey, come here, guy. <laughs> so uh, the first priority is probably getting some food. And then we're going to get some resources and start crafting some stuff. I think the first thing we need to craft is a knife. Uh, but here's some of the things you can craft. Uh, but this is our inventory. You press tab to open your inventory. And I have some metal salvage. Uh, I have a peeper, which gives me food and gives me minus H2O. Let's grab this guy. Hey, what's up, man? So we're going to grab him. We're just going to grab as many fish as possible. Uh, this guy right here gives water, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so different types of fish give different types of, like, uh, health, water, uh, oxygen, stuff like that. So, they're you know, they all have, like, different uses and values, which is really cool. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. And look at this guy. Oh, this guy is hostile, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think he shoots stuff at you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets agitated and he, like, shoots stuff. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, we need oxygen. We need oxygen. No, 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 no. Okay. Yes, there we go. Okay, so let's head back to our thing. 
um, our ship. Also, there's a weird glitch. I don't know why it does that, but every time I look down, it like warps the screen. I'm sorry if that bothers you guys. Maybe that's just a glitch in the thing, or maybe it has something to do with my graphics options. I have no idea. I don't remember it doing that before. It might be with the new update or whatever. Also, uh, I play on a laptop. I'm building a new computer here pretty soon, but I'm playing on a laptop right now that has a 765M, so it's very like low spec, and I'm running this 1080p on decent settings i just put it on recommended but it, i mean the game looks really good so uh, it seems to be optimized decently well so to craft things you actually need to uh once you gather resources you come to this fabricator right here and you'll see that uh there's different things so like resources uh we can turn our scrap metal into uh titanium so let me go ahead and craft some titanium and there we go we have some titanium let's just go ahead and craft some more and you need to gather a lot of titanium and a lot of resources to actually craft thing in this game, uh, craft stuff in this game. So advanced materials, this is even more advanced materials, electronics. So apparently uh, our ship is on the planet, and I think it's going to explode here pretty soon. Uh, let's look up at, up at equipment. So we can buy extra O2 tanks that increase our oxygen meters. Uh, we can buy fins that makes it swim, uh, swim faster, or radiation suit, uh, because the ship that we crashed on not this guy this is a little escape pod but the main ship we can go there uh but it has heavy radi radiation so you need a radiation suit which is really cool uh let's go ahead and make um tools we need to make so that's a scanner a flashlight a survival knife we need a survival knife so we have titanium we need some rubber uh also we need to make some food i don't know uh, here here's food uh so water we can go ahead and yeah make some filtered water the air sacs these little air sac fishes actually make filtered water which is pretty good cooked food uh let's make some cooked peepers there we go so you do everything in this little fabricator thing i kind of wish i actually kind of wish this game had because this is a lot of stuff in the menu i kind of wish this game had um some sort of like different things like there was a cooking one you know so you can kind of like separate different things cook, cook a boomerang let's just go ahead and, and get that guy nice uh let's go ahead and cook some more boomerangs here uh boom and uh, let's open up our thing. Let's go ahead and eat this guy. So I ate some, as you can see. Uh, it lowers my water, but it gives me a little bit of stuff. We're going to go ahead and keep this. This gives me a bunch of food. This gives me a little bit of water. I go ahead and get the water. So we have 91% water, 74% food. We have a little bit of titanium. I'm not sure if this has a... Oh, communication relay. Let's go ahead and play the message. Uh, occurs in one minute. Um, this guy... I guess there's really nothing else here. We do have a little... Be, uh, beginning storage uh, component. Oh, and we, we start off with flare, filtered water. Let's go ahead and grab the filtered water here. Uh, how do I... Uh, let's see. Shift left click. Okay, there we go. So shift left click. Uh, nutrient block. Oh, wow. That's a lot of food. Flare, multi-realizable underwater light source. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab one of those. Uh, and then let's, um, let's stick uh, up some of our titanium here. There we go. Boom. <clears throat> And uh, let us head back underwater. So it, there is a day and night cycle in this game. Uh, that's the, I guess, the moon or whatever. And then there's our crash ship. So, yeah, that thing is massive. We, we can actually swim all the way over there and get on that ship. But like I said, we need a radiation suit first. Let's go ahead and swim down. We're going to explore a little bit. One thing I love about this game is the it, the game is just really beautiful. So it's really nice to explore. Like, the game looks so good. Um... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, let's go ahead and get some quartz. There we go. Quartz, uh, you need quartz to actually make the silicone, so that's how we're going to make silicone. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. All right, can I pick him up? Why you no pick up? I don't understand why he doesn't pick up. Uh, but let's continue swimming. Oh, I can't actually. Uh, we can we can do this. Like uh, You can terraform and stuff. There's like a terraforming gun. Uh, I'm running out of auction, so we need to swim back up. I think the first priority is getting a knife and then also getting an oxygen tank. That's probably what we need to do. Uh, let's continue swimming around here. I'm going to get some more quartz. Boom. Uh, I, I'm kind of curious. So they've added a lot to the game. I wonder if you can like like make a backpack or whatever to increase your storage. That might be pretty nice. Uh, you can make like small little ships, and then they can have like storage on the little ships. So that's going to be something that we probably want to do as early as possible so we can kind of like store stuff as we – or have more storage as we kind of like hunt around and do that kind of stuff. Uh, we got some more scrap uh, salvaged metal here. Let me get some more of these guys. Oh, uh, I'm running out of oxygen. Okay, we're going to swim back up to the surface. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it. I'm going to go around and gather a little bit more resources, and uh, I will be back here in a second.
Okay, so apparently uh, the way you get rubber now is a lot different. I thought it was crystals, but crystals make glass, which I think it did that before. I'm not sure, but there's these things called crystalline seeds that you can pick up now. And, oh, wow, okay. High oil content. So I'm pretty... Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm getting attacked by something. I don't know what that guy is called, but he's attacking me. Uh, we need to get away from him. Okay, let's swim up to the surface. So, yeah, that, that's how you get the, the rubber or whatever, those crystalline seeds. That's definitely something new in the game that I have not seen before. Uh, let's come over here. Uh, I did go ahead and fix some food. Let's do basic materials. Let's go ahead and make... So we can make rubber or lubricant, naturally derived oil-based lubricant, industrial applications, uh, synthetic silicone-based rubber. Let's go ahead and make some of this guy. There we go. So I don't know how much. Uh, so those things take up a lot of room. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. So I those those big uh, big super creep vines right here. They take up a lot of room. So we have some glass, uh, which is from quartz. We have some titanium, and uh, oh wow. By exposure to radioactive crash site materials. <laughs> oh, no, so I think the ship is about to explode here pretty soon. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, make some more stuff here. So let's go ahead and go into person or yeah, equipment. Uh, I'm gonna make an O2 tank so we can survive a little bit longer, and then we probably also want to make fins. And let's make fins, okay? And then uh, do we have enough stuff to actually make an O2 tank? Yeah, we'll go ahead and make an O2 tank. And then uh, we can make a second one. Maybe we should go ahead and make a second one. Yeah, we'll go ahead and make a second one. So we can move faster and we have more oxygen so we can stay underwater longer. Uh, and then I need to make a, uh, not a flare, a, a, ooh, cuts things open. Battery, diamond, titanium, uh, flare, air bladder. Let's see, chemical reaction produces lighter than air gas for personal buoyancy. Oh, so in case I'm like really far under the water, I can use that and it'll shoot me up to the top. That's really cool. So we need silicone rubber. So I need to go grab some more creep vine uh, so we can get some more rubber. But as you can see, uh, we have two O2 tanks and then we also have fins. Yeah, there's the fins. So the O2 tanks take up inventory space. So you can't just do like unlimited of these guys because it takes up inventory space. We might even do a third one. Uh, then we have fins, uh, translate vertical limb movements underwater into forward thrust. So yeah, that's actually gonna make us move a little bit faster. Let's head, I'm not sure if I can really tell a, a big difference in movement speed here, uh, but let's head over here. We're gonna get a little bit more rubber. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, oh, th yeah, that stalker right there. I think it's called a stalker. Uh, let's go ahead and grab as many of these guys as humanly possible so we make some more rubber. And then we're going to make a knife. Now, I don't know if you actually need a knife, but I think you need a knife to actually uh, harvest things like copper and iron and stuff. So, uh, which are these little deposits in the ground. We'll go ahead and check that out here in a little bit. Let's uh, come up here. And let's do use the fabricator resources, uh, basic materials. We are going to craft a little bit more rubber. There we go. We'll craft two more rubber. Awesome. It's weird that those take up so much room. It's really strange. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a survival knife. There we go. So there's the knife, uh, which is cool. Oh, okay. So it has like little, <laughs> little counter strike things. So uh, you, I, that'd be kind of cool if I could press like uh, a button to look at it and do do little flips and stuff. What is this? Okay, so that's a flare. This is a knife. Uh, sweet. Let's go ahead and exit. I'm curious to when the ship explodes. When does the ship explode? I don't know when that happens. I want to see it though, or maybe the ship already exploded. Maybe we already missed it. I didn't hear a big boom though. I think a big boom actually happens whenever that happens. Uh, so we have a knife. Uh, we have a little bit of room, a flare survival knife, silicone rubber. So these are all parts we can actually make for our body. Photo album. Oh, I can press F11 to take a screenshot. That's cool. Uh, looks like data bank. So every time I like find a fish, it should make a little uh, thing in the data bank. Uh, let's swim down here. I'm really curious to see if uh, there's any copper or anything nearby. Let's go ahead and get that guy. Uh, gathering resources is really easy. It's just left click. You don't have to do anything special. Um, you, some games you'll actually have to like switch tools and stuff like that. This game has nothing like that. You don't switch tools. The only tool, only tool you really need is your knife. Uh, that's how you gather everything, really. And you don't even need the knife for a lot of things as well. Uh, I, I can dig sand here. I don't know if there's hang things hidden underneath of the sand. I don't think there is. Uh, quartz, let's go ahead and get some of that. It's going to be really, really useful. 
Uh, and there's a lot of just cool stuff. In this game, there's like different biomes. There's a bunch of different enemies. Oh, look at this. Let's swim through here. This is cool. Uh, there, you know, there's different cave systems and stuff. Uh, there's all kinds of different biomes. There's like an underwater, like deep sea, like jellyfish biome. I think there's like a volcano biome. There's all kinds of cool stuff. This game has a lot of stuff to explore and do. And there's a lot of building in this game too, which I think is really cool. You can make your own like underwater sea base. Look. Oh my holy god! Okay, we're we're getting out of here. Oh my god, that almost murdered the crap out of me. Oh my god, that's crazy. Um, oh, we need we need to get some oxygen here. Uh, we're we're probably we're probably the first couple episodes here. Uh, just do some exploring, but I definitely want to get into the building as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and get all of our oxygen back. There we go. And then do I have any room in my inventory? Nope. That is, yes, that is what I want to do, but I want to go to inventory. Uh, not really. Not really. Not that much room. Um, let's see. We have a bunch of fish right here. This is like a school of fish. Uh, let's go ahead and get some of these sea clusters. Okay, so I got two sea clusters. Uh, let's head back. So if you ever get lost, there's actually a beacon. You can make deployable beacons too and kind of like name them, I'm pretty sure. So if you ever want to like mark certain locations in the world, um, you can mark it with a beacon and then you can see it from any distance away. So like that's my little pod right there. I can find this from any distance away, which is really, really cool. Uh, can I, I don't have room for this, do I? Oh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and eat some food and some water real quick. Let's do filtered water. Hey! Hey! Hey, get out of here, you stoop. Uh, let's get, oh, run right away, run right away. Get away from me, bro. Okay. Um, it's pretty hard to get, die in this game. I don't think I've actually ever died. Um, the closest I've ever come is from not having enough oxygen. But these guys, like, you don't really have to worry that much about enemies in Subnautica. Like, the day and night time, there's nothing that comes out at night or anything like that. It's all pretty much the same. You can see the creatures like this. As long as you don't agitate things, there's not... I don't think there's anything that's super aggressive, which I could be wrong. I haven't played this game in a while, so there could be some super aggressive things that I don't know about yet. Um... But yeah, let's go ahead. We're gonna make some more resources here. Let's go ahead and go in basic materials. Uh, I'm gonna make some rubber. There we go. Uh, I think I only have enough room for one. Yeah, let's go ahead and make some glass with our quartz as well. And then we're gonna make some titanium. Some titanium. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and then basic materials. We enamel glass plus steel ingots. Yeah, and there's all kinds of like advanced uh, stuff you can make too. So uh, water. I haven't actually done anything but the food that i've gathered kind of like out exploring I, I mean it lasts a while so you don't really don't have to worry about stuff uh i can make another o2 tank i can make some pipes still suit reclaims moisture from body oh that's cool so that's like dune dude we, we're except we're in a we're in a water world i guess the water is probably salty so we're probably on a salt water planet but this is kind of like dune uh, with, with where they have the the suits that reclaim the moisture or whatever that's really cool uh, still suit blueprint. We need fiber mesh and silver ore. Reinforced dive suit. Heavy uh, fiber dive suit provided 50% physical protection and then radiation suit. That's kind of cool. There's different suits and stuff now. Uh, we need we need fiber mesh. I don't know how to get fiber mesh. And we need silver ore. Um, let's go into tools here. Is there anything we need? So handheld uh, spectroscope scanner for recording atomic level information on targeted en entities. Uh, flashlight. Okay. Uh, air bladder, okay. Uh, flare, habitat builder. Fabricates habitat compartments and appliances from raw materials. That's something we probably want to do here pretty soon. So we need a computer chip and a battery. Um, and welder. Uh, and a laser cut. Cut things open. Okay. Uh, then let's go into deployables here. Beacon? Yeah, this is the beacon I was talking about. We need copper wire for that. Waterproof locker. 4x4 storage that uh, maintains position in the water. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you can just kind of like throw it in the world. And I wonder if you can pick it up though, like carry it with you. Maybe I don't know. Grass sphere uses artificial gravity to attract light objects. Okay, so we want to make something, right? So let's go ahead and go into tools. We probably want to make a habitat builder. So we need a computer chip and a battery. Let's go ahead and come up here. Uh, silicone, titanium, magnesium, computer chip, and a battery. Advanced materials. A uh, benzene. Oh wow, that gives cancer. That's crazy. Synthetic fibers, uh, electronics. So copper wire, a battery. So we need a co we need copper ore, and then a computer chip. So we need table Warning. coral sample. Local radiation readings exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core. 
a quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Advise observing a one kilometer safety range. Okay, so I'm going to stick all the stuff up. Uh, we're going to go out and explore a little bit more. I'm going to pause it uh, until we find some, like, ore and stuff like that, or if the ship explodes. So, yeah, I will be back. Okay, so I know they've done some kind of, like, aquarium things you can do, and they've also done farming, but I just found a creature egg. I have no idea what a creature egg is. Uh, maybe that's a part of, like, the aquarium stuff you can do. Here's a coral shell, shell plate. Let's go ahead and can I like break this apart? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and get some coral samples. Uh, I also found some copper and some titanium in a little ore deposit. Let's swim up here and uh, get some oxygen. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, please. Oh my. Oh my God. Okay, I almost died there. I almost died. That was crazy. That was absolutely nuts. Um, so yeah there's there's these little ore deposits we'll try to find one here in a second uh i've been swimming down here I, the, normally the deeper you go like there's different types of resources that you can only find like deeper in the ocean and stuff so that's actually really cool so i have plenty of crystal um and then i got these coral plates yeah these common coral samples it contains uh calcium uh, uh carbonate is a base ingredient for bleach so i guess i think bleach is actually used for purifying water or something i'm not sure exactly let's continue swimming around oh look there's some titanium right here so these are like scraps from the ship that's kind of like spread around also all this stuff uh re like regens over time so you know if i leave this area for well, i don't even know if i've had to leave the area but if i like you know go do something for 20 minutes or so those guys will kind of like respawn randomly ah Ah, oh my god okay yeah those little pods uh they explode and they kill your face uh oh yeah here's something right here limestone uh some copper which is sweet that's exactly what we were looking for um let's uh let's get some more cor coral plates i guess so i guess this is the only thing you kind of have to like break apart and get is the coral i mean there's probably some other things like that as well uh let's uh let's get up get, let's get some more oxygen here there's some more peepers. Yeah, we have plenty of food. We have lots of food, actually. I'm probably not going to eat. I'm probably going to use those nutrition bars. So I'm going to wait till I get like down to 25% food or something. So it's becoming nighttime again. Let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah. Let's get some of this. Some of that. How, how's my inventory? Oh, I'm almost out of inventory space. Uh, maybe we should head back to see if we can build that, uh, that thing. So let me swim all the way back, and then we're going to try to build some... Oh, look, 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 look. Creature egg. Yes, we got another creature egg. So we have two creature eggs. Oh, it's a little baby creature egg. We have a big creature egg and a baby creature egg. Um, I have no idea what they're used for. I'm assuming some kind of pets or aquarium system or something. Uh, but we don't have a base, so I'm going to save these guys, and I guess we'll use them at some other point. This game is beautiful, though. It looks so good. I love this game. It's so good. I've been wanting to play it for a while, uh, and I think today or now is just the perfect time to actually play it. Uh, so if you guys have not played this in a while, I suggest coming back to it because they've added a lot of features and stuff that uh, kind of add some longevity to the game. I mean, we can build a huge base. Oh, no. It's about to explode. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state. Oh. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, wow. Ow, 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 there's something on my face. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Uh, go in. Oh my god, I almost died. Oh my god, that thing almost killed me. Dude, that explosion was massive though. Uh, let's eat. Uh, let's eat some food. Uh, that was that was nuts. How do I heal? That's what I want to know. Let's do decomposing cooked pepper. Oh, that that okay, that was a horrible idea. That was an absolute horrible idea. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and process, up, uh, process some of these uh, materials. Left click, there we go. Uh, let's come in here. I want to get some titanium. You do a lot of this in the game. Uh, I'd say this is the only kind of like 
boring part of the game is processing your materials. But, I mean, it's really not that bad. I mean, everything ha kind of happens fast. Oh, we can make titanium ingots, which is cool. Let's go ahead and make some glass as well. There we go. Uh, then we can do something with this copper that we have, and maybe we can make the, the builder? That might be a good idea. Uh, so how do I, what do I do with this copper? Advanced materials, not benzene, electronics. Copper wire, so battery. We need copper ore, so we need acid mushrooms for the battery. Okay, so let's come down here. Let's go to tools. So we wanted to make a habitat builder. So we need a battery and a computer chip, okay? Um, so for the battery, we need acid mushrooms. And then for the computer chip, we need silver ore, quartz, and table coral sample. Okay, so I have coral samples. At least I, I thought that we're, where's my common coral, uh, coral sample. Oh, so we need a different type of coral sample. Let's go ahead and make the battery though. Let's go ahead and come in here. I'm going to grab a few of these guys. Yes. We're going to make, uh, I guess a couple batteries. Maybe we might need some more in the future. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to resources, uh, electronics. Uh, we're going to make a battery. There we go. So we have a battery. And then we need to find some silver ore and, and then some of those uh, sa samples or whatever. So I guess I'm going to pause it one more time. Uh, we're going to go out and explore a little bit more. Uh, let me go ahead and stick all this stuff up, titanium. And we're pretty much out of uh, inventory space. We, we've already filled this guy up with a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, but yeah, I will be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. So uh, I guess we're, we're, I haven't found any silver ore, but I haven't really explored that much. Uh, but I guess let's go ahead and make a scanner. A scanner is probably going to be something that's pretty good, right? Maybe? There we go. So a handheld uh, stereoscopic uh, scope scanner can be used to synthesize, synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biology. So uh, I'm pretty sure we can use this to actually find, or whenever we find a blueprint, we can scan the blueprint, learn the blueprint, and then maybe we can also uh, scan some different types of fish and stuff. Let's go ahead and try it out. So we have the scanner. Uh, let's. Oh, what is this? W Rithing uh, weed. Let's go ahead and scan this guy. Oh, this is cool. Oh, look, and there's a little percentage meter and stuff, too. Oh, so I just learned about it. Uh, what can I do with this guy? So can I... Oh, Rithing Weed Seed. Oh, so this is for farming. Okay. I don't know what you can do with the seeds and stuff. Uh, maybe you can grow, like, medicine and food and all kinds of cool stuff. That sounds really, really interesting. Uh, let's, let's scan... Let's scan this guy. Yeah, let's scan the boomerang. What's up, man? Uh, did I, did I, did I, did I scan it? Did, are you, are you, are you scanned? I think he scanned. Uh, let's go ahead and scan a crystal, I guess. Okay, I guess we can't scan a crystal. Uh, but you can probably scan all kinds of different cool stuff. Uh, Rithing Weed, uh, Acid Mushrooms. Can I scan this guy? Nope, I cannot. What about this big guy right here? This is the guy that shoots a little poison things, Gasopod. Uh, so, oh wow, look at that. Look at that. He, he's doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, let's... Does it keep my scan progress? Oh, yeah. It looks like even if I stop scanning, it keeps my scan progress, which is pretty cool. Maybe that's only for, like, the last things that you've scanned. Yeah, there we go. So I've scanned that guy. Oh, uh, what was he called again? He was called something. Let's go ahead and... Go, let's go up to the surface real quick. Uh, we could scan this guy, that boomerang. Uh, but let's head up to the surface and see what we've learned so far. Let's go ahead and go into data bank. Uh, let's do alien life forms. Uh, not flora. So rithing weed. Okay. What is this? Uh, okay. It doesn't hurt. Herbivores, boomerang, gasopod. Okay. A slow moving life form capable of filling the water with poisonous and corrosive compound. Capable of dissolving even synthetic fibers. Okay. That's cool. So it gives me like. Uh, assessment. Avoid. Yeah, okay. I probably want to avoid that guy. Let's go into Florida. What about this guy? Is it not? Yeah, so I guess there's no information on this guy. Uh, Aurora, mining vessel. Okay. Nice. Uh, well, I think what we're going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it here for the first episode. Uh, hopefully you enjoy. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Help me out tremendously. And I'll see you guys for the next Subnautica.